I've been looking at the updates to Camtasia 2023. I think there's some really nice cursor updates that are well worth investigating. But one of my favorite areas is the additional assets that have been added into the library. Particularly, I love these dynamic backgrounds. In fact, I'm using one now as I'm doing this video with you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on the library assets. I'm gonna show you some really interesting ideas around using text, dynamic backgrounds, and combining them together, changing the properties, working with green screen. And you're really gonna see just how powerful these library assets are. Really hope you like the video, and as always, if you do, please share it, please comment on it. Love to know what you think of Camtasia 2023. And of course, join me on my YouTube channel. Let's get started. Now there are a number of new features in Camtasia 2023, but I'm gonna focus on the library and I'm gonna show you a couple of really creative ideas. I've been working with this library and the, where I'm gonna start is with these dynamic backgrounds and you're gonna be really surprised what you can now do with these. So the library in 2023 has been much updated. There's lots of these dynamic backgrounds now that we didn't have before. And I'm just gonna show you a couple of options of working with them. I'm gonna drag this onto the screen. And this could be the background to some text, or it could be the background, for example, I could be on the screen myself, and in fact, I'll show you that in a minute, I'll bring myself on in green screen and we'll look at this. But one of the interesting things about these backgrounds is that they can also be edited. So if you've got this background on the screen, and if we play it, it's obviously a moving background, one thing that we can do is we can actually come over here and change the properties. So for example, if I wanted to click here and choose a different color, and then very immediately we've now got a different color. Now another thing that you can do, of course, is bring on various examples and edit each one to be a different color. So I'm gonna choose this one, I'm just gonna make this very quick. Of course, we could change all the colors, but I'm just trying to demonstrate this. So we've now got kind of a yellowy color. Uh, so we've got the three different colors here, and we can do this. Now, one of the interesting things is that we could now, for example, put some text on the front of there. And one of the things that's happened in Camtasia 23 is that they've added a lot new of new text features. And some of my favorite ones have been really extended, and I'm gonna show you that now. I'm a huge user of Camtasia and I started using it in 2006. On the screen now, and there's a link if you want, if you're interested, is a completely free, complete set of training videos in using Camtasia. It's based on Camtasia 2022, but it would be completely relevant to Camtasia 2023 as well. I'll leave that link on the screen and also in the description below. So another feature that I've always been using is these titles. And first of all, I'm just gonna move this over and I'm just gonna drag on a title and just show you it in isolation first. And I've noticed that these big type, they've added lots of additional animations now. Let's just play one of these and just see how they work. So this one here is very simple, but I find these really effective. And what I like is I can just come over to here again, we're just clicking on the properties and I'm gonna change this. So I'm gonna say, for example, write the name of my company. So I've just changed the name of the company to my company, so which is teacher training videos. There it is, perfect. I can even play around with the colors and the size of the text and even change the font if I want. Now I, I like these kind of big, bold fonts that they use in these examples, but you do have the option to change them if you want to. Don't forget you can test out Camtasia for a whole month for free so you can download and just try it out. I've put the link below in the description. And there's also some links in case you want to buy Camtasia because I can offer you quite an interesting discount, particularly if you're working in education. And again, those links are below in the description. So what we can do is combine the text and the background together. And that's exactly what I've done. The only other difference is that I changed it to be a darker font so that it would come out clearly. Let me just quickly play that to you. I really like that. I think that looks really professional and so easy to do. And we're using all the features 
in the Camtasia, Camtasia library. Okay, let's look at some more examples. And what we'll do in this next one is we're going to introduce the idea of green screen. So we're going to come back up again. I'm going to work again with these dynamic backgrounds. And as you can see, there's a really are a lot of them. I quite like this one here. So I'll just drag this onto the screen. And again, just like all of them, keep in mind, you could come over to here and change the properties of this. So if I wanted, for example, to work with other colors, I do have that option, okay? And um, what I'm gonna show you now though is how we could use this background and add a green screen. So if I come up here, I've got some green screen footage. I'm gonna drag it on. Um, I need to chop the beginning of it off because that's just where I'm getting ready. So it's about here that it actually starts. I'll just cut that part of the green screen. So it looks, place that along there. Now the only thing with green screen is that you need to Click on more and go to the, in fact, I've got it here, the visual effects. Come down to visual effects. We drop that remove color onto the screen. And the color that we want to remove, of course, is that green. Now I've got a bit here that I can just basically crop off. So bring the crop in. I should have cropped really before I deleted the colors, but you can see the idea. So now I've got myself on the screen with a really funky background. And, um, you know, again, I've got lots of options. If I didn't like that background, I could just literally click on it, delete it, and go and grab another one because there's a whole host of them. Another one I quite like, and I was playing around with the settings in this one. I really quite like this. So if I drag this one onto the screen, and again, if I click on that object and come down to the properties here, and come down, I quite liked it when I changed the thickness of the lines. And again, if I just play that for a few seconds. Welcome to the course. I'm just gonna really quickly in this video just take you through where everything is. Absolutely, a really effective, very quick. What I like about these dynamic backgrounds is they're really saving me a lot of time and giving me the options, of course, to um, work with the properties as well. Now, if you want to learn more about green screen, there's a video on the screen now that you can click on. It will take you through green screen. It was Camtasia 2021, but it's exactly the same today in Camtasia 2023. It makes no difference. So watch that video and learn how to do green screen with Camtasia. Really hope you liked that video. And if you did, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. Loads more free videos. There's even a special section of Camtasia. And I've been a Camtasia user since 2006. If you want to keep up with my work, the best thing to do is to sign up to the newsletter. That way you get updated with all the latest online courses, the blogs, the webinars that are often free, and of course, the latest videos. You can also contact me from the website if you want me to do some training with your organization. Uh, thank you very much, and I'll leave some more videos on the screen about Camtasia.